What's up YouTube? I got some uh, packages in the mail today and I want to show you guys what I got. Firstly, I have a tiny, tiny little remote control. It's a one channel remote uh, for scale. Here's a Lego Stormtrooper, so it's, it's pretty small. Um, if you look at it, it's got this extendable antenna and whenever you push the button it flashes red. So my plan for that is to build it into a um, airsoft claymore with clacker. Secondly, I got this 4.3 inch LCD screen uh, and that's hopefully going to be part of my night vision project or first person view goggles or something like that. Um, got an issue with powering it. It shouldn't be an issue uh, feeding that uh, RCA composite video though. And finally, that project that I was teasing you guys with last week. I got a new component in the mail this morning. Uh, I got a camera in the mail too, and I haven't taken a video of that yet, but um, the camera's plugged right in the middle there. Well, really hot glued in. And uh, you'll see what that does in just a second. So, this mess of wires is actually uh, USB power for the viewfinder at the bottom there. This is a huge mess. I need a project enclosure. I actually ended up shocking myself on all this earlier. That was not a good time. So. Alright. You can probably hear that little electric whine. Um, Alright. So far, nothing. Second wire. Powers up the camera. My bad. The first one was to the camera. This one was, uh... Yeah, okay. Anyway. Um... You can see that camera, which I'm going to point under my desk here. Which, pardon the mess. I guess it's just going to point at the ceiling. Um, and if you look... Oh, this is going to be very difficult to get done. Okay, so you see... The camera's working. So, if I get this all in one project enclosure, it would be very easy to use um, as a viewer for that camera. Now, you might ask why I would do that, uh, and that has something to do with this 9-volt battery clip that you may have noticed if you're being observant. Let me just pull out a 9-volt battery. Okay, that's plugged in, got this uh, switch, now looking at that, can't really see anything, and it's kind of difficult, uh, even, it's kind of difficult no matter what, because it's in the near infrared spectrum anyway, because it's a near infrared spectrum uh, IR, like LED array. Uh, my phone is sensitive to the light, so what I'm going to do now is close the door and turn off the light. You can start to see that glow, and from right above, it's it's very sensitive. Um, uh oh, looks like one section of it might be not working too well. Uh, it doesn't work as very good as a spotlight for my camera. You can see it does kind of. Uh, also, something interesting to note about the camera hooked up to that viewfinder is that it works better in a low-light condition than it does in um, well-lit conditions because it's, I guess, just so sensitive to low-light or so sensitive to light. So here you can see under my desk, you can see some boots and uniforms and part of my head 
if it's focusing properly. The ceiling. But that's it. That's a night vision. Homemade night vision. I'm pretty pleased with it so far. And I'll be uh, experimenting and adding a project box to it and all kinds of fun stuff like that.